this week's part this week's part is from Shabbatim. This week, after last week having received the Torah, we begin to discuss the relevant halachas that a person needs to live their life as a Jew. Specifically in this week's parsha, we discussed the halachas, many of the halachas that have to do with damaging another person's property. Um, two of the halachas that are mentioned are, are, are that of a goslin and a ganif. Now, a goslin is a person who, who comes and steals by force during the day, forces the person to give him the object that he, that he wants. Whereas a ganif is a person that comes in the middle of the night and comes clandestinely and comes and steals and steals from the person. Now, it's interesting because the Torah requires that the Gazan, the person that comes during the day with brute force, is only required to pay back the the price of the object that he stole. <clears throat> Whereas the Ganiv is required to pay back double. He has to pay the object twice. And the Gemara asks in, in Baba Kama, why was the Torah more machmir seemingly by the Ganiv than it was by the Gazan? And the Gemara over there gives its answer in Baba Kama, and the Marshal discusses it, and, and many others discuss it as well. Today we're going to discuss the answer given by Reb Nassim Breslover, based off the, one of the teachings of his Rebbe in Lukut Maran, his Rebbe Reb Nachman. He, Reb Nachman has a Torah in, in Simon Tess and Lukut Maran that's talking, that, talking about that, that when a person is, is struggling in their Ovedis Hashem and you know, the, the, a darkness has fallen on them, either when a person is davening and, and you know, a machshava comes in that he's not supposed to be having during davening, that's distracting him and he can't get rid of it, then he, he's, he's, you know, it's, it's bothering him. Or Stam in his Avodah Hashem and he's, and he's trying to go somewhere in, in, in his Avodah Hashem, he's trying to grow and the Yitzhar is coming and telling him to do this and telling him to do that and he doesn't know where to go and what to do and, and he's very confused and, and it just seems like nothing is going for him. That's the beginning of darkness. And Nachman says that the way out of a pers- for a person to get out of that place is to find the Dibur of Emes. To find that one piece of Emes to say, you know what, no, I, I, I still got this. I, I'm able to, to get through and I have good things and I can, and I can, push and I can get through whatever this darkness is that 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 I'm that I'm dealing with whatever that M- MS is that MS is going to be different for each person but whatever it is when a person is able to find that MS they're able to really break through and he says not only that when you when you when a person is able to break through their own darkness and find that Pesach through their darkness they're able to make make entrances and Pesachim for other people because once you've done it yourself you can then go and make Pesachim for other people so says Reb Nassim in the Kut Alachis he says that this is the Indian of the Ghana being required to pay double. The Ghana has to pay double because when he steals, he's bringing darkness onto himself and he's bringing darkness onto other people. He's going in the middle of the night, he's stealing, no one knows who he is, everyone's confused, no one's sure what happened. So when he's required to pay, that require that tikkun that he's having, since he is this aspect of darkness, again, because he's coming in the middle of the night and he's coming clandestinely and, and he brings confusion to, to people. He's, he is an aspect of darkness. So his tikkun is obviously, right, when, a per, when there's darkness, the fix for darkness is light. So he has to bring in light. That light is going to be the MS, right? Because what, what gets everyone out of the confusion? What gets everyone out of the darkness and gets their object back and or gets paid for their object? The MS of who did this? Who is the person? And that's the Bechina. That's that aspect of or. Now, when that or is found, so it gets rid of his darkness. But like Rav Nachman was saying, when a person is, is, is stuck in darkness and they find the, the light, the Or HaEmes, that's able to take them out, it also opens up doors for other people and they need to open up doors for other people as well. And that's why Rav Nassim says a person has to go and, and, and pay, the Ghanim has to go and pay double because what he himself has found, it's not enough that he himself should get out of the darkness that was th- through the MS, right? He caused this darkness. It's not enough that he should get out of the darkness through this aura MS, even even he must make he must even make um, um, entrances and doorways and psachim for other people to get out of their darkness to go to the light and to and to be chozer b'tshuva. So, aside from the fact that this is this is just a, a, a nice understanding, mm-hmm. uh, a little bit of a deeper understanding of, of why the ganav has to pay kefil, it is just just inherently a, a, an important lesson. Um, when it comes to Avodah Hashem, that a person is able to really realize and see and break through any situation, any hardship that they have in their Avodah Hashem, by really striving to find find their own MS. Of maybe like the Ba Science says in this week's parsha that that MS is, you know, where am I holding in my Avodah Hashem? Am I trying to do something that's too above me? Am I trying to do something that's greater than 
than where I am. And, it, and if that's true, so then that's not the MS, and I'm going to be stuck in the darkness. But really to, to sit with oneself and to find what is my MS. And when a person is able to find what their MS is, they can get out of any darkness that they're stuck in. Thank you so much, and have a beautiful Shabbos. I want to take a moment to invite you to our special Night Setter program. Our Aaron and Leah Night Setter program has been endowed to our shul, bringing in outstanding young Talmidei Chachamim to our shul every Monday to Thursday from 8.30 to 9.45 every night of the week in order to give you the opportunity not just to listen to Shirim but to do your own learning. That means to say you choose, even if it be half an hour a week, you say, I would really like to learn X. I would really like to learn more about why, and I want to come in. You can find a chevrosa, you'll be assigned your own chevrosa to work through it at your pace, at your level. That's what Night Seder is about. We're shifting from being receiving shirim of Torah to learning Torah ourselves. Please join us for our Aaron Alea Night Seder program. Looking forward to seeing you there shortly.